so does the rest of the time. Okay, but, but you announced against it. Oh, okay, three to five minutes. Two to three minutes at the end to answer questions. Good morning, Cleveland! <laughs> This is Larry Hip at WARC radio station, the friendliest station in the nation. We have a very special guest today, an ardent representative from Serpentini Ice Rink. Marianne has been associated with this ice rink for 40 years, a lifetime actually. She's here today to talk about the history of the rink, what services the rink has and her association with the ring. Glad to have you today, Marianne. Thank you, Larry. I've been listening to your show for years. It's great to be on the show with you today. Could you share with us a little of the history of the Winterhurst rink and your association with it? Larry, Winterhurst has been a long and it has a long and interesting history. The original rink was built in 1931 by the City Ice and Fuel Company. It's located at Lakewood Heights Boulevard and 150th. At that time, it was considered the largest rink in the world. In 1957, the rink was purchased by John Nolan and remained in private ownership until 1961 when it was purchased by the city of Lakewood. The city of Lakewood at that time immediately began renovation and on November 1961, the rink was reopened and named Lakewood Winterhurst Municipal Rink. Though the renovated rink was a great improvement, <clears throat> it soon became uh, an uh, Doug Rommel, please dial extension one three. <laughs> the sediment soon began to grow for Doug a more outdoor three, rink that would be available five. all year long. So in 1973, the Lakewood mayor proposed a new indoor structure and dedication ceremonies were held on October 1975. The new rink offered very unique features, such as two dual a regulation ice hockey rink side by side. Each of them had separate temperature controls and sound systems so that they could each be used and operated on their own. There's also an upstairs private lounge for viewing for parents when their kids are taking lessons. And they also have a specially adapted lighting and accommodate various ice skating functions. A very unique aspect of Winterhurst is that they also have this wall in the middle of the rink that can be lifted, which can open up so that it can create one huge ice surface. And this is truly a unique structure. Our next change occurred in 2008 when the city of Lakewood decided to lease the rink to Iceland, U, excuse me, I, US, <laughs> Iceland USA. They found a sponsor in Serpentini Chevrolet to help renovate the rink and maintain its historic reputation. Today, Winterhurst re remains a first-rate facility as well as a valuable community asset, and it is presently called Serpentini Ice Arena at Winterhurst. Oh, very interesting. Could you tell us what kind of programs are available there? Yes, Larry. Winter Ice Skating has been an integral part of Lakewood's community for many generations. The residents have enjoyed the ice skating there. And part of the reason of that, Larry, is because Winterhurst offers many exciting programs. For instance, we have ice skating lessons that are available throughout the week for ages three all the way up to adult. We have speed skating, hockey skating, open skating, private figure skating lessons, and we also have a special Olympic program for special needs athletes. Um, you can also rent the ice for private parties as well as we have a variety of um, activities and parties throughout the year that people can community can enjoy. Personally, I have been associated with the rink most of my life, as you mentioned, Larry. I skated as a child, as with friends, as, as a teenager, and later on as with dates. And I have to say I was very fortunate that I had the opportunity to skate when the rink was outside. It was a very nostalgic experience, especially on, a, on an evening when the snow was falling and the colored lights around the rink and the beautiful rhythmic music. It was truly a very special memory in my mind. Both of my children went through the Learn to Skate program. My son played hockey for a number of years. I took lessons. I taught the Learn to Skate program. I was part of a woman's precision team called the Ice Cubes. And I ran the Learn to Skate program for about 10 years. And I helped program 
materials in preparation for a number of the ice shows that have been available at Winterhurst, as well as the fact that I have been a Special Olympic coach for special needs athletes for many years. In fact, the Special Olympic program put on a number of ice shows completely with Special Olympic skaters and their volunteers. So as you can see, skating has been a big part of my life. I certainly can, and I'm curious, Marianne, has there ever been any, like, famous skaters come out of uh, the Lakewood facility? Very, we have been very fortunate. Winterfish has drawn Olympians, hopefuls from around the country to take, to teach, excuse me, to be taught by the former 1960 Olympian champion, Carol Heiss Jennings. She began to coach here in the late 70s. Here are a few names that I'm sure you'll be familiar with. Jenny Mino was a pair skater, and she, with her partner and then now husband, was the 1998 World Silver Medalist. She was also the 1995-96 World Bronze Medalist and a three-time U.S. National Champion, 1940, excuse me, 1994 and 90, 96. And then there's Parker Pendleton, a national champion on four levels. Tim Goble was the 2002 Olympian bronze medalist. He was the first to land three quads in a program. How's that for putting your name on the map? Very impressive. I've never been able to do more than two myself. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Have you ever ice skated, Larry? <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> then we have Tanya Plonkowski, who was the 1996 U.S. silver medalist and world competitor. Tanya is now coaching at Winterhurst as well. And I can remember all of these athletes when they were just little children, but their parents were still bringing them to the ring. And it's been a thrill to watch them progress and excel in their skating careers. Well, I noticed you have something over here. Yes, Larry. Uh, what this is, is this? an interesting story. When I was in grade school, they had book clubs that you could purchase books a couple times during the year. And I purchased a book about Carol Heiss and her experiences as a, becoming an Olympic champion. I never dreamed I would ever meet Carol, let alone work next to her. But after she became a coach at Winterhurst, I remembered I had the book, so I found it, and I brought it to the rink, and I asked her if she could please autograph it. And she wow. graciously did. I don't know if you can read the writing there, but... <laughs> It's too bad we're on the radio so none of our listeners right. can see it. Oh, no. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, you mentioned Winterhurst is unique. What else is unique about Winterhurst? Let me tell you a couple stories, Larry. My brother, who also skated at Winterhurst, went out west for a number of years for a job, and he found a rink there, so he decided he would go ice skating there. And as he was skating along, somebody approached him and said, did you skate at Winterhurst? And my brother said, well, yes, but why did you ask? And he said, because people at Winterhurst have a very unique way of skating. And they, they, you, you, you can pick it out by the little lift of the way they skated. And also there, another thing that might be very interesting for our audience to know is that many people that I know met and then got married from skating at Winterhurst. I think that's pretty impressive. Maybe I will take up skating. <laughs> <laughs> Mary Ann, you have been an extremely ardent guest. And <clears throat> oh, do you have any further comments that you would like to share with the audience? Yes, I do, Larry. I have always felt that ice skating is the perfect sport. You can do it when you're young, you can do it when you're old, you can do it by yourself, with a friend, with friends or you can enjoy the various skating activities that Winterhurst offers. If you have children or grandchildren, I highly recommend that you have them have lessons so that they can take ice skating throughout their lives. And give them a gift that will keep on giving. And if you're an adult, remember we have skating lessons for adults as well. And you may think I'm trying to plug the, the, the rink, but I'm really not. I really do believe that ice skating is a great value to a person's life. And even if you're not interested in ice skating, happen to be in the area, stop in and see the ring because it truly is a unique and lovely structure. Thank you, Mary Ann. It's been great having you as a guest. I have been by the ring, driven by, but I've never been inside. Well, so maybe this is an opportunity for you I, to give it a try. Though. I certainly will, and maybe I'll meet my first future there project. There you go. <laughs> I would like to mention the phone number of 
ring at the ring in case anybody's interested oh, yes. in finding out information. Please do. The number is 216-529-4400. Or you can Google Winterhurst or Serpentini Ice Arena at Winterhurst. Okay, could you give that number one more time, Absolutely. please? 216 <laughs> Okay, thank you very much, and uh, it's been great having you. Thank you, Larry. I appreciate you having me on your show. Go to commercial now. <laughs> Serpentini Chevrolet. <laughs> <laughs>